Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 with a proper rally build series. I have stage made. I have the car selected for our baseline. This thing is a monster Ford Fiesta Global Rally Cross. And I have figured out a way to make it work so the AIs don't get stuck in trees and so they can run away without problem. And uh, yeah, but first we need to do a uh, a baseline, if you will. Um, so this vehicle is going to be sending our baseline and some quick updates on the rally series. It is a stage, not that stage. It's a good stage, but I have a more complicated mixed tarmac stage. And this series is about 2.4 miles long. And this series will be on Wednesdays and Saturdays, except for this weekend, because I had to get the circuit working again, because it broke. Um, <laughs> but I'm very pleased with it. I am very pleased with it. It's very challenging, so I've been doing some practicing. So, the first five cars that run here, first five or so cars, may be rerun at the end of the series, or at the midpoint of the series, or something, just because they won't be as reliable, if you will. They won't be, um, as, like, I'll be learning the track, relative speaking, especially because I can't use the braking line. I always use the braking line because I'm not that good at judging braking zones or corner speeds. And with this thing where I, where you have, where the racing line is your track that you follow, and since my track was being made up as it goes along, um, yeah, it doesn't really work. <laughs> so... <laughs> I have to go without the racing line, as you can clearly see. And uh, we do have to let the unbeatable driver cars, theoretically unbeatable, as I go from 12th to 5th, and... Ooh! No missed checkpoint. I missed checkpoint. Well, it's gonna help the AIs run away. <laughs> and rewind. Okay! Good, it's helping them run off, alright? I did that on purpose. Now, this one here is going to be our starting line. So I see a roll up. I set up the tree line area. So there we go. Um, yeah, this is our little thing. We're gonna wait until they get to about the end of dirt straightaway. So I can explain what's going on here. Um, we start off on this narrow like, rally row, which had lots of inline walls. Very technical section with a high speed intro, which is gonna be good. Because, you see, in the Horizon 3 series, you wanted all-wheel drive, lots of power, screwed the consequences. That was just the fastest way to build a rally car. Because the stages were very flat and very straight. This, however, has a mixed tarmac section as well. And that tarmac section is incredibly technical and really tests your brakes and your handling. So it might struggle there, so you might actually see some very interesting results. I'm going to go at the minute 35 mark. Ready, and go! Perfect. Now, of course, that launch doesn't really matter because I'm going to start the timer independently, so I actually won't know the, um, the score, if you will, the time, until I go review the footage, annoyingly. Um, but that's how we, we had to make this work somehow. Um, ooh, we're a little bit wide. We don't really want to be sliding over. It's very good fun. You want to slide here just a tad bit. Like that good. May not quite as wide. Because it does kind of get us out of the loop. Ooh, that's a, if you get that right, it's a flat out corner. But I didn't get it right. Oh good, the AIs have already finished. Thank you AIs for actually doing your job for once. Forgot how technical that, cor that corner is deceivingly annoying. Now, I had to make the AIs take a different route here. So, I'm, so you're supposed to follow that road here. I actually follow this road. And then I go on the brakes. Go around here. Double apex. And then take a very late apex hairpin right there. Um, there we go. Ooh. This thing has a little too much acceleration almost. It kind of catches me out. Yeah, I'm still learning the track as you can clearly see. Ooh. Yeah, turn it, turn it, turn it. Let's see, yes. Now get on the power, just rock it like a spaceship. Now, we are not going to cut that corner there because there are benches in the way which will ruin your um, speed. And you go through another dirt section here. We actually have two water splashes, which is 
Very cool. You don't want to cut the corner there. That is annoying. I don't want to do that unless I get loose control or whatever. Ooh. One more corner and we are across the line. Don't know why there's a TTR there parked. But there we go. That is our first run uh, completed. Okay. Second run is a, uh, is a go at the 1 minute 10 mark we'll set off. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to try to have a cleaner lap, cleaner stage time. So, uh, we just set off there, and now we need to hopefully not have a, um, slippery, slidey run. Be nice and clean through here. This is a very slidey car, it's very, it's, it's tantalizing because you want to slide because it's fun. But you also know that if you slide it, except for here, it is dramatically slower. We clip, we didn't clip, we hit the wall, but the wall is destructible, not that it helps very much. Ah, that has ruined us, I think. I think that might have ruined us. That's very annoying. That wall there is decidedly annoying. No! I keep making the same bloody mistakes! This is incredibly frustrating. Alright, get on the brakes a little early. Just make sure we turn the corner on uh, hard on the brakes. Now don't get wheel spin, because wheel spin is bad. Hairpin, chuck it around, get used a little bit of handbrake to help us along. Late apex, perfect. Now, tightening corner, tightening corner, perfect line through there. I think despite our start, this may actually be a slightly better run right now. Which is um always nice. Always nice to have a better run. I mean, I don't have the confidence in this car. Funnily enough, despite being a full-blown race car, I don't have the confidence in it. Because it is a very slidey car. You see, I didn't even turn in there. just turned it on its own. Because of the water. It just doesn't... It is quite slidey. Ugh. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Well. Worst finish line crossing of all time. Because it kind of slid into the into the um, the thing, yeah. Okay, you can see what I mean about the sliding. It's not very well planted this Fiesta, but uh, we got one more attempt, so we're uh, we're gonna make it count. All right, final attempt for the uh, for the Fiesta. And quick side note: if you hear a ringing in the background, I do apologize. We think there's a bearing wrong with our HVAC unit, and that's causing it to uh, make a very strange noise. So, uh, yeah, sorry if you hear that. I'm going to try to hopefully see if I can tone that down enough to get rid of it. But we shall see. We're going to get ready to go in three, two, one, and we are off. Let's have a clean lap. Just focus on being neat and tidy. Try not to slide the car about too much. Because that does hurt our time quite significantly if we slide the car around too much. You can probably carry more speed through there, but I don't want to risk it. There we go, that's a better line through there. Alright, good. I know you don't want to slide it most of the time, but that is the exception point. Down the brakes, don't hit the wall, perfect. That is pretty much the limit of what you can do through there. Now, you want to go on the brakes, on the brakes a little early, try and get a good line like that. Look at that. Don't cut the corner too much, you will hit that brick wall, which is, uh, funnily enough, not very good for your lap time. Okay, we're through arguably the most difficult corners there. Now we have another hairpin. Perfect, look at that, we actually carry good speed through there. Uh, uh, we we're gonna tab it while we didn't hit the wall, though, which is good. We can do a flat-out chicane through there. Alright, the ring has stopped, which allows me to concentrate a little more and not hearing a constant ringing noise in my ear, which is very annoying, I might add. But there's not much I can do about it right now. Uh, turn. Alright, we're gonna go a little bit faster through that, yes. So fast I can't even speak English properly. A little bit of slide through that chicane does help us a tad bit. Woo. Air time, that's a new thing there. <laughs> that is a new thing. Now. 
straight line here. I don't care really. I will allow a straight line there since I did that myself. Clean the lab. Yes, talk about high pressure. Ah, that gives me slight anxiety once I get past that area with that difficult bit without crashing. It does give me a tiny bit of anxiety. But we did it. <laughs> now we just have to see um, what our car can do. Alright, and our car, if you can't tell by the back of this, it's the Morgan Aero Super Sports. Uh, I love this car. It hasn't been in Forza since 4, Forza Motorsport 4. So, um, I'm glad it's back, and we're going to turn it into a rally car. It always seems right. This is Britain, after all. Uh, it's made out of wood, um, because why not? And I'm hoping, since it's a first, that is a very big wing. <laughs> uh, I've seen big wings on cars. That, that, I'm not sure if it's still, like, strut towers? That are mental, or if it's the wing itself. I can't decide. I think it's the strut towers, but... Point is, that's very good. Um, then we have, we want some rally tires. How big can we get on the front? 285 on the front, that's pretty good. And 305 on the rear, that's what we need. And, um, we can put all these on for basically free. We'll save the drive line if we need points, or if we have, like, room to spare. Um, we want rally suspension, not drift rally. Um, yeah, I'm hoping since I'm relatively new on the circuit, it can give me... See, I kind of want that weight. I'm going to put on that weight. I don't want mentally low weight. I don't want to be crazy on that. We're not going to get the most amount of power out of this car, but I don't think we need it. I don't think we need the power, because it's already gaining a lot of PI, like that's 9 PI with that. So, we are probably going to need a supercharger, but that doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, we're going to need a supercharger. I want a supercharger. I don't want a turbocharger. That doesn't seem right on this car. We can get one. This is actually, a, I was going to say, this is actually getting a fair amount of power now. Um... This is getting a fair amount of power. That's 700 horsepower. Alright, so if we do that, now can we go to get a drive line? Hey, we can. There we go. The stats are a bit crazy. 726 horsepower, 635 torque. Weighing just 2,600 pounds and made of wood. <laughs> um... I was thinking this wouldn't be very powerful, because it's an A-Class, and I was like, oh, I'm going to use that because it's a new car, and, you know, new track, I want to learn it with a more grippy car. I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> Alright, so the um, Morgan Aero Super Sports will have to um, try and beat a 147.9. I need to get going here because an AI missed the starting checkpoint, and I don't want him to overtake me. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's get her going. <laughs> you can see him in the background like an idiot. Come on, you and get your act together. Alright, how's the acceleration? Pretty good. Now, what's interesting is this car actually has a pretty similar power-to-weight ratio. Oh, God. Um, then, compared to the, um, to the Rallycross car, because, although it has a hundred more horsepower, whoa, it also weighs almost 600 pounds more. And that's, that evens itself out, you know, it evens itself out. So it's not too dissimilar, except for the fact it's made out of wood instead of aluminum. <laughs> I'm still amazed by that, I'm pretty 99% sure that it's made out of wood. Um, ah, I, I turned in two, I was trying to be showboaty, trying to be showboaty, it didn't work. Ooh, this is very quick though, I can tell you right now, this is m much faster than that little... Then that will fiesta. Ah, it will overtake me here. Ah. I, I, it was okay. I had I almost had a minor problem there. It's fine. Ooh, ran a little wide. There we go. Thank you for clearing the um 
I really hope you don't get in my way because of your stupidity. I ran wide. It has a bit of understeer, I will be honest, this car. Because I did have to convert to all wheel drive, which can sometimes cause understeer, and uh, this vehicle is an example of it. This vehicle is a prime example of it, but it is very quick. It is properly quick. Oh, too quick, too quick. Over top the corner, over top the corner. Go, 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 go. Aha! And now I can straight line this because I straight line it in, or I can not straight line it, not really in my control. Oh! Okay, that was very close. I don't know why the AIs keep respawning, but I got ninth! <laughs> and I didn't completely ruin my run. Okay. Alright. Well, so, um, so that happened. Okay. Second run for the Morgan Aero Rally Sport. Um, let's see if we can do a little bit better. We're going to try not to get caught out by the understeer. It is, does have a bit of understeer. Um, which I guess is better than oversteer. I mean, it would be a little difficult for an all-wheel drive car of this kind to have oversteer. Because it is a bit grippier than, say, the future creations which you will probably make with the classics. The classics generally have a fair bit of oversteer and understeer. <laughs> because they're not designed to have all-wheel drive with a thousand horsepower because they usually end up running. And, um, yeah, they just can't cope. That's lovely through there, I might add. We get to some serious speed, 125 miles an hour. With, and making the corner with relative ease, the Fiesta can only manage, learn a little bit wide, can only manage about 112. Uh, okay, that was some understeer. Yeah. yeah. Turn, 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 it doesn't turn. <laughs> Come on, get some traction, there we go. Understeer, stop. This thing is a very understeer vehicle when you push it hard. I will be honest. It's a little too much understeer for me. I do like my car slightly understeery, but this is a bit extreme, I will be honest. I will be honest, it's a tad bit extreme. I'm not sure how long it'll rain at the top of the table. Uh, yep, because it just does that. It just doesn't turn. And uh, that's not particularly good. Ooh. Uh, handbrake, I guess. Alright, so we're probably going to be a bit faster than the Fiesta, but I'm not sure if it'll be able to stay at the top for very long. It was improvement, it was a considerable improvement, but how do I never, how do I not keep coming last? I guess the AI could suck at 99%, whatever. Point is, the car is very fast, if not quite a bit understeery. Alright, final run for the Morgan. I wanted to do well. Um, I just can't get the understeer. The understeer has been causing a fair bit of problems on the last two runs, but those problems have been offset with just mega speed, and if you'd get the corner right, it does absolutely fly through it. Because the brakes are pretty good, pretty good. Had a bit of understeer there, but I think that was more due to me carrying too much speed. Okay, good, good. Now, straight line this section. Get very close to the tree, but not quite touching it. Fly out through there. You just had a little lift right before entering the corner. Then we carry 130 miles an hour into this braking zone. Make sure you get it stopped for this um, surprisingly nasty section here. Heading in here, hard on the brakes at the crosswalk, roughly, a little too early, late on the brakes, a little too late on the brakes. Should probably have braked a tad bit earlier. Much better through there. A little deep into the hairpin, shouldn't cost us too much time. Late apex, a little bit less speed, works well. Now you can straight line that section, clip there, clip there, maybe a little slow. But I, I think overall it is an improvement. We don't run wide there. That's nice. And we carry good speed through here. Dab with the brakes. Dab with the brake. A little more than dab with the brakes. We get it stopped for the corner. We don't run into the rocks. We're doing pretty good this round. Clip the corner a little bit. Clip the fencing. That fencing is okay. It will not hurt us. As you go for a bit of a dab with the brakes, I will let off just because I did a bit of a corner cut. 
and then you can straight line all the way across the line. I think that was the best run of the lot. We didn't have many, we didn't have hardly any mistakes. And uh, all in all, I think that was uh, pretty solid, if I do say so myself. On to the times, and well, it did beat the Fiesta's 147.9 with the Morgan doing a 146.15. Um, it's good. It, I honestly thought it felt faster, but you know, beating the Fiesta Rally Cross car by over a second, not too shabby. Although I was expecting a tad bit better as I was going through the run, seeing that I was carrying more speed through the corners and having faster top speed. But um, that is what happens. You know, that's just what happens. Sometimes um, cars get unlucky. I had a I think I had a one off, like one slight off, I clipped the wall and that slowed me down a tad amount. So I'll probably redo the first five or six cars as I mentioned earlier in a, at the end of the series, at the middle of the series, just because, again, I am still learning the course. But, yeah, this was, um, um, interesting, it was very interesting. And I, I like the course, I like the track a lot. It is annoying that I have to wait for the AIs every single time, because Rival Snow doesn't exist for whatever reason. But, um, yeah. You, you just gotta work with those things. And, uh, anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 4. I'll be back with more.